to hey guys Sam here and today I'm going to show you how to add audio into your pencil um, 2d like animation so it's very simple um, the first thing I'm going to do is just get a quick ball animation it won't be the best because I am using a trackpad right now all right I got a quick little animation now to add the sound it's not very difficult all you have to do is go in file and then you're going to do import sound and if you don't have a sound layer it's going to ask you to create one um, so you should create one of course so we're going to call it like sound effects there you go. and now you have a layer right here for sounds all right and now all you have to do is go in your documents and select a sound so i'll pick one and then it, i'll show you what to do after Alright, so I added a like a punch sound effect, so if I play it. You can see that it plays it. Alright, so you can see it plays the sound. Um, so the sound is this bar right here. So it doesn't show um, the sound waves like in other animation programs might show like the actual sound here it's literally just a bar that you can move around so if I put it here and I play the sound it plays towards the end of the animation so so yeah so basically what you do is you move this bar and it'll move where this uh, it'll move the sound Alright, one more thing, um, another thing is that whenever you want to delete the sound, so you click on it, and then click the minus arrow right here, and it'll go on it. We... Alright, so another thing that you can do, um, I just put a quick a little music thing. Right, so if you're making an animation and you want to play test it, but you don't want the sound to be behind it to play while you're just checking stuff, you can click this button here and it will turn your sound off and on so now if you play it it's off on off alright so um, that's it now a couple of things that aren't too good about like audio in pencil 2d that I found um, is that like I said it doesn't show the sound waves so like it's harder to do lip syncing um, you would have to do it strictly with audio and now by looking at the lines, um, if you use other programs, you'll know what I'm talking about. And yeah, and yeah, so that's it. So that's how you add um, audio into uh, your animation. If you have any questions, please let me know. And don't forget to leave a like.